Women's images have started reappearing on advertising around Jerusalem, signs and billboards, but they haven't turned up on the sides of buses. That's because until now, the company that handles advertising on Jerusalem buses, Canaan, had refused to run such ads, saying its buses would be attacked by vandals from the Haredi, or ultra-Orthodox community, which believes images of women are offensive. Women's pictures in Jerusalem became virtually non-existent after repeated Haredi vandalism forced advertisers to pull them down. But a recent campaign has started to bring them back. Under pressure from political group Yerushalim, whose aim is to promote equal rights for women, Canaan has caved in. It will allow pictures of women on buses, but advertisers will have to pay a whopping 50,000 shekels of insurance to cover the cost of excess premiums, compensating for vandalism the pictures will provoke. Yet Canaan's decision is itself equally provocative. One outraged Yerushalim activist said the company was surrendering to Haredi extremist thuggery and rewarding their violence. Haredi believe in the segregation of women from men, which means on public transport, women commonly volunteer to sit in the back. Yet not everyone toes the line. Recently, a woman refused to move to the back, sparking uproar from the Haredi that she wouldn't, in condemnation from the Israeli Prime Minister and from the High Court, which forbids gender segregation. Stymied in legal ramifications, the ultra-Orthodox may have come up with an alternative. Five Haredi millionaires have pooled their resources to develop a kosher bus line, complete with mandatory segregation. It will operate free of charge to circumvent permit laws, and according to Haredi media, the noble men hope to start operating next month. Chief Rabbi Yonah Metzger has called the kosher bus line a blessed initiative. <laughs>